I recently did a video on Jerusalem artichokes. I think it was actually last summer. And now that people are starting to get ready to plant their gardens, people are starting to ask, where do I get Jerusalem artichokes? So these are really interesting plants and it's worth taking a few seconds just to, to talk a little bit about them and why I think that they're interesting. They're sometimes referred to as sunchokes and they're from the same family as the sunflower family. And so if you let them grow long enough, they'll actually produce flower heads. Now these plants are touted to grow up to 15 metric tons of tubers per acre. So they're very productive and they'll produce another 15 metric tons of stalk or plant matter on top of the ground as well. So they're very prolific. Uh, a lot of people love to hate these plants because they call them invasive weeds, because they'll take over, because they spread. Um, but when you're in a food crisis, uh, which I would argue every year we get a little closer to a global food crisis right now it's just inflation but depending upon who you're listening to and what you're reading there's a lot of people that are starting to think that our food system is getting a bit fragile and so if that ends up being the case i guarantee people will not be complaining about the you know the virility of a specific plant and how fast it replicates across the landscape now these plants can be fed to pigs, they can be, the tops can be fed to goats and sheep. Uh, and so they're a very versatile plant that are worth having on your farm. Now, not that long ago, it was hard to find them in uh, seed stores or on the internet, but a quick Google search yielded a whole bunch of options uh, in the Google search engine. So my suggestion to you, because I'm not sure whether your question is coming from Canada or from the United States, is just do a Google search. And if you are going to the trouble of planting these, get a few different varieties. There's more than one type of variety. And so I'm super excited that people are taking the seed selling of Jerusalem artichokes up and that it's starting to proliferate across at least Canada anyways. I'm sure it is in the States too. This is an incredible survival crop crop. Now I will say one thing, these crops do have a bit of a dark side uh, and it's not the invasive part. Uh, a lot of friends in my community call them fartichokes because they have high amounts of inulin in them. And so not everybody is affected by inulin in the same way, but I'm one of those guys that when I eat these things, they make me levitate. Uh, and it's not pleasant. Like it, it is crazy the amount of gas that gets produced. Like pretty much my family calls me a gas bag after I've consumed these. However, there's a secret to consuming them that eliminates this nasty dark side to this plant and it's lacto fermentation. So when we produce these, we'll cut them up into slices, kind of like pickle slices almost, but they're small pickle slices. We put them into a mason jar and then we put in a 3% brine with a whey that we've extracted from an organic yogurt. And the whey has the lactobacillus in it and the 3% brine is what uh, creates the right environment for that microbe to thrive. And the microbe will actually alter or break down, I'm not exactly sure what, but it makes the inulin digestible for me. And then you can add all sorts of great spices. You can add, add pickling spices or dill and the Jerusalem artichoke will take on that flavor. And so it's a wonderful survival storage crop that can be used for all sorts of things. Um, for us, we typically use it for pickles. So check it out and uh, get growing some. Okay, folks, hope you found that interesting. If you did hit subscribe. And if you want content like this, we write a weekly-ish email where we help spread information about how to go off grid, how to grow your own food, how to get your house and garden in order so that it will shelter and feed you regardless of what happens in the world. The last few years have been crazy and I don't think the craziness is going to go anywhere. And so now is the time to start educating yourself. Now is the time to start getting information into your brain and starting to put it to productive use. If you're just starting on your journey and you're looking for a way to implement some of these ideas and you're looking for a community of individuals that are going down the same path as you, then head over to Verge Permaculture and sign up for our newsletter and start getting information on a, on a weekly basis. Okay, thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next video.
just go and get an umbrella and play in the rain. 